Good morning, everyone. This is our altar guild room at church. It is a small room. And behind these doors is where we store all of our banners. It is a six foot wide by 42 inch deep room. Um, and the thing I don't like about it is for anyone to reach over that first bar to get to the other banners, they've got to stand on a step stool, lean over, lift up the banners in the back, drag them over top of the other ones, and then step down off of the step stool. And I just don't like it. It's just an accident waiting to happen. So we've come up with something else. Right now we've got four one inch rods that are six feet long. So we've got 268 inches worth of storage for banners. Um, ours are not high enough that we can actually loop into the rod pockets. We just simply fold them over. And um, let me take this all down and we'll show you what we're going to install today. So I thought I could do something in black iron pipe and sand it really well and paint it, but that would just be too heavy. PVC pipe just wouldn't be sturdy enough in my opinion. I really couldn't find a way to make something that worked. So I kept doing internet searches and eventually I ran across this. If you do an internet search for a universal banner storage system, this will pop up. This is made by Praise banners. However, they sell it and other sites also sell it. I found it much cheaper on a different internet site and that's where I purchased it from. I'll show you what it consists of in a minute. Let me get this unpackaged and in place. This is the bracket that comes with it. It is 40 inches by 6 inches. It is a U-channel shape. Um, it is aluminum and it's roughly 1 16th inch thick. It is a substantial solid piece of metal. And with it comes 10 adjustable rods. They will adjust from 3 feet to 6 feet with the neural nut at the end. So you can adjust it for whatever length in between 3 feet and 6 feet you need. They will hang in there in the bracket. The rods are designed to take 25 pounds each. None of our banners are going to weigh that, but it's nice to know there's extra built into it. And the rods are 1 inch in diameter on this end. And it naturally is a little bit smaller for the extension piece. I could mount it with the bracket in the center of the back wall, but in my situation, it does not clear swinging past the post. That might clamp down in the force case. I would just have to cut a little bit off of this tube and slide that one back in. Not a big deal. And that would allow me to swing it all of these back in. And in fact, by the time I got to this one, it would clear completely. I could start extending these out a tiny bit. But that doesn't extend very much because I have to clear this door. So I really only have about a three foot rod on each of these. And it does the same thing on this side. So I'm going to show you what my intention is with a different position. All right. So before I bought this, I cut some cardboard for sizing up the bracket. And I brought some pieces of PVC pipe with me and laid this out and this is what I think is going to work best for us. With that bracket mounted all the way against this far wall, what that does for me, instead of just having that short little distance from the back to here that we had earlier, now on the longest side, because this is no longer in the center, it's off to one side, this bar now will clear my door frame and that is 40 
seven inches. So instead of just being cut short at 36, I'm sorry, that's not 47, that's 42. So instead of being cut short at 38, I now have 42. But what that does for me is, as every bar goes further back, I can now extend all of those rods further out because all I have to do is clear my door frame. So you can see how much this one is extended, and I would extend all these to match. And what that means on this end is, instead of just having that 36 inch or 35 inch piece to clear the door, and I'm just using this one as a brace, but what this one will do and what I'm showing you with this one is, that now extends out 68 inches. And that 68 inches will, as I fold these all up, that will clear my door frame and as all these sweep back in here all of these will sweep back in here all of these including the very last rod will sweep all the way in here and all of this will be open when we're storing it and then we simply swing out as many as we need to and we can also get at whatever we want and apparently have a lot of nice room to do this so moving it off to the side gives me a longer bar on every single one. It gives me a longer bar here and every one after that will gradually get extended out until I go from this now about 48 inches to now 68 inches. So I'm going from those four rods that were six feet long to that last rod will be 68 inches, almost six feet, and every one after that will be somewhere between 48 and 68. That'll give me a tremendous amount of storage. So my intention is to mount it off center like that. And again, that's what works in my situation here in this location with this closet. So now I have it over all the way to the right of the wall just to see what would happen. And um, again, my clearance on this side, I lost about an inch or two only because the depth from here the door frame to that wall is different on this wall. This one's a lot tighter. Um, there's two inches difference from this side to this side. So that adjusted a little bit. But again, I did not lose much. Gives me plenty of room to walk in. And this last rod, to clear this, again, I lose about an inch or two, but that's not a big deal because when I come out, it does stick out of the room quite a bit, which really makes it nice. I can walk right in. I can get to any of them. I can swing them out of the way and get to any ones I want. And of course, naturally, once these are all adjusted, they'll all be longer. They'll all swing completely out of the way. So I can do it either on the left side or the right side. I will just need to make up my mind, and I'll tell you why in a minute. All right, so a little time has passed. I decided to mount it on the left because that gives me the absolute longest rod length for both ends that I wanted. Um, when you buy this, it does not include the mounting hardware. When I called the company, they said they don't know if we're going to mount this in brick, concrete block, stone, drywall with wooden studs, or in my case, unfortunately, drywall with metal studs. I thought I had metal studs. I went above the ceiling tile and cut a hole in the drywall and sure enough we have metal studs. And in metal studs there's two different gauges of metal. There's a thicker and a thinner. And thinner is much more common and yes that's what we have is the thinner gauge metal. I talked to three different building supply companies and they all made about the same recommendations and they all said it would hold and I'd be fine. Um, one of them gave me a name of a man who has done construction for the past 20 years working with metal studs and he was extremely helpful in uh, what we're going to do. So he recommended cabinet screws. Um, there were two different types at the hardware store so I grabbed both. The black one just has a sharp pointy tip. The metal one actually has a self-drilling tip on the end of it. Um, and what he also recommended is put it up with liquid nails. He said the liquid nails by itself, once it cures, would hold this entire project's weight. He said the screws by themselves would hold this entire project weight. So I decided on the overkill, we went with both of them. I spread the liquid nails in the zigzag pattern and um, I started off with the brass looking screws. 
we decided to go with a 1 by 10 all the way across spanning the whole length so I can hit as many of the studs as I can to spread this weight out. Started with the brass studs above and below and they were going fine. Um, they just, I know you can't tighten and I, they just didn't snug like I wanted them to. They're probably fine. Again, with the liquid nails, I'm sure they're fine. But as I got all of those done, I went back in with the black screws and I like those a lot. They really bit hard. I can tighten them secure without any feeling of stripping. I'm really, really comfortable. So I went overkill with three more black screws in every stud. And I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but I even added three screws, three blacks in each stud inside there. So between the all the screws that are in there and the liquid nails, I'm real confident that this is going to take the weight. And again, it's not just the weight. There's 10 rods. They can take 25 pounds per rod. That's not my concern. It's my concern is if someone has this out and they slip and they trip and they grab a banner and now their whole weight is yanking on one of these rods. I don't mind if the rod bends. I'm sure it's probably going to. Um, but I don't want the whole thing coming down on them. So I'm real comfortable and confident now that this will take the weight. I'm going to let the liquid nail set up overnight. And tomorrow I'll come back and install the rods and put the banners back in. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day and our church organist is practicing. So I get to listen today to wonderful pipe organ music while I'm working on my project. Um, everything's in, it looks nice and sturdy. I do want to show you with all the rods aimed in one direction. I cannot get them flat against the wall because of the width of the room that I have. But I do want to show you with all the rods combined together, just with them all touching tip to tip, it takes up 15 inches of space. Again, they're one inch rods. There's 10 of them and they're spaced out. And then by the time you add banners to these and add some thickness, of course, that space is going to slowly grow. But all together, pretty much if they would fit flat on the wall together, it takes up about 15 inches. This is with all the rods adjusted, so they just clear my uh, tightest point, which is right here. And as they keep coming out, they will all clear it. And this one is recessed back a little more for some extra clearance. And then you can see on this end, how that all adds up. Um, there is a bit of inconsistency in some of the rods. I will contact the manufacturer and see if they can send me replacements for those. Um, but even so, I don't consider that a big issue. Um, I staircased them best I could. I probably could move a couple more around and get them a little better. But the beauty of this, again, now I can walk right in. I can get to any banner that I want. I can slide the rest of them completely out of the way. And again, walk right in, get to any banner that I want and simply keep moving them until I get to the ones I want to work with for the day. I think that's going to work out pretty well. Let me hang some banners. All right, so our storage system is in. It is installed and done, and I am very pleased with it. As I said, we've radically extended how much we are able to store Everything tucks in very nicely, and as I pull them out, I can walk in and get right up to any banner that I need to get to. They all just clear my door, and I have adjustments for all that, and I can bring them all out. And I've got plenty of room for more. I'm very happy with it. It does, the rods have some bounce and that's good. Anything that is going to take some weight, you don't want it to be very rigid and stringent. You want it to have some flex. I've got a lot of weight on this one, so this one has sagged a bit. I'm not concerned about that at all. 
Um, to me, I know that things should have bounce. Everything does lay nice against each other. Um, very happy with it. I think this is going to work out well. And as I talked about earlier, because I mounted them off to the side, there's the end of my closet, and that's far out the rods stick. So we've added a tremendous amount of length. We've doubled the capacity. We've doubled the amount of rod space that we have. And uh, I think this is going to work out great. No one any longer has to stand on a step stool or lean over any other rods to get to any other ones. Everything swings nice and easily. And I'm sure my altar guild people will come in here and put out a lot more banners that right now are in totes and boxes. And they'll lay this all out the way they would like to. And again, very easy to walk right up to and get to. And I've got lots of room in the rest of the altar guild now to store other things. So we went from this. to this and I'm very happy with it. If there's any major updates to make in the future, I'll write them in in the uh, text at the beginning or the end of this video. Thank you for watching and you have a blessed day.